Right, well, hello viewers and welcome back to War Game um, Red Dragon, once again, uh, with me, Pipichichu, of course. <laughs> so, um, today we're checking out another mountain map, and this one, it's uh, it's called the Cold War Z, and they really like these uh, punny names, and it is just a nice little narrow valley down the middle, surrounded by two hills with a little, like, little paths in the middle, which is really rather neat. Um, currently, I'm just gonna blitz the far side here in Gregory with a pack of choppers. I'm playing with my um, air air general deck, air paratrop um, red four deck, and that mainly just features a whole bunch of um, just in general helicopters and stuff and such. Or helicopters and planes and stuff and such like that. Um, I think we've already seen this deck oh. once. Um, if we did oh. not, I have a pack of these um, Avia S planes here and I'm rather afraid of somebody oh, okay, coming yeah. into this area and trying to take hey, Gregory from me so uh, I've deployed these guys and the main thing is that they have rockets aimed at uh, helicopters Kill. which is rather neat I think I'll actually send these guys over here um, because somebody's playing a air deck over there and let's uh, let's just check these guys out for a second I'm just gonna rearrange my guys but let's check out these planes so they're gonna bank in here and Hopefully they'll just unleash a barrage of um, of rockets at whatever really. Um, they're cheapo planes, I mean they're only a few points, so it's no big deal if they die. And the main thing that I want to use them for is just a cheapo way to nab control of areas pretty much. So hopefully that uh, Avia will take out their little recon helicopter here. Glenn, did all your guys get in Yeah, there we go. They're going to fire off the barrage, but I suppose it doesn't do too much damage. So, um, such is life, I suppose. Now, I'm going to get my guys to drop off over here. I saw that big fleet of uh, Hueys over there, so I'm a little worried. Um, my airdrop deck is made out of these tank shashu troops. Um, I, I'm starting to buy some more of these specialist AA teams rather than relying on vehicles, and I bought some recon and some general infantry here, so this will be um, just a wide assortment of different units, I suppose. Now, my um, my original strategy was to get these tank shashus uh, to the tops of those valleys and to really keep the other types of infantry inside the bottom of those valleys, mainly to just sort of establish that little net of just up and down hills, sort of like what they had in uh, Sicily, and to just really control the area like that. But I'm starting to wonder more and more about that as, um, as this is just sort of going on. I'll try to nuke as much infantry as I can. Hmm. Now I'm a little worried that their planes may have gone around me to the side here. So what I think I'll do is, I, I mean I have my command squad, that command squad is deployed. And I think I'll get my planes to just sort of circle around here and check it out. I saw that blob of Hueys, it might not be coming for me right now. Is uh, one thing, ah it's right over here. Ah I see. So they're pressing over, over here. And it looks like it's mainly just regular uh, infantry. Now the good thing about the uh, the Heinz that the um, that the the air deck for pack comes with, uh, they actually come with these rocket mount rocket pod mounted uh, transport helicopters, making them fairly useful in that they can just sort of rocket barrage anything there. So I'm gonna give them attack fire orders, and they'll just barrage pretty much everything that they can find here. Um, they have a limited amount of ammo though, which is the one big thing about them. And the second thing is that they have this uh, really rather annoying minimal range um, idea behind them where, I mean, helicopters, these guys, they can't really see all too well. Um, and on the other side, they have to abide by this uh, this rule that they have to stay. I think right around 700 meters away is the range. Yeah, it looks like it's 700 meters or something before they finally can barrage. But it looks yeah, like we stopped that, that little um, sudden strike, if you will, so that is good. So I do remember distinctly seeing a command squad inside this area, so we'll try to clear that area out a little bit. Oh, there they are. Tank shoes are on it, they have those heat launching rifles, and that will be the end of that attack. So yeah, um, on these, I, you know, I think the map um, building 
psychology, I want to say. Oh, thanks. That's going to kill my sniper team. Those rangers are. Uh... I want to say that the idea behind these maps is that, you know, you'll have one land intro here. And you also have another one on, the, and like these are uh, these are semi-symmetrical maps in you, that you have two zones like that. And with that said, ooh, they are launching I got those voodoos. voodoos. Those were infrared planes. I think they were. I think they were meant. To, yeah, these are infrared launching planes. It looks like they only are supposed to go up against helicopters, which is kind of weird. Have a few Strela teams, which uh, should be on alert, but I suppose I'll have to deploy them or get them to stop moving. Oh well, they're not doing too much damage, so that is good. Now that girl. Ah, well, I'm conflated now. Which one I want to go to? And I think we'll just send these uh, choppers back. They're two of the highest rated universities in Canada, and they're both pretty cheap for me. Hmm. Out of uh, curiosity, which um, uni unis were were you thinking of going to? Uh, Bishops in Sherbrooke, Quebec, and Mont and uh, Concordia in Montreal. Ah, cool. Yeah. Ooh, his artillery is smacking right into my. Uh... I think what hey, I'll do right see. now is that I'll just like cap this Sherbrooke. They have guaranteed me uh, first year residence. And the thing I like about Concordia is I don't have to pay tuition because my dad was a former teacher there. Hmm. That's really neat. And I was, so it's just now I have to question which one do I want more. Uh, what faculty were you think of doing? Oh, uh, political science. Sorry? Oh, oh dear lord. Political science. Uh, oh, politi poli sci we're poli political, political science. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's kind of neat. Yeah. So I mean, going back to the game, it would seem as though our area is here. Like history, but I decided that Holy Sire was more up my alley. My alley. Um, what I think I'll do here. So I'll start to get the Strela teams moving on top of these locations, and I'll just sort of keep them there as an airnet. Um, I saw some pretty interesting forms of gameplay earlier where uh, one guy, one one Red 4 player, essentially depended on only um, the... I'm making a video right now, by the way. Um, he, he pretty much depended on these 5-point Strela teams and stuff and such like that for a backline of... AA defense. The main thing about them was that they, well, they, they're very, very cheap units, but they were really rather effective for for this for the simple reason that they were cheap and spammable. So I mean, while they have a limited range and a limited accuracy, so long as you have enough of them, you can just sort of barrage planes. So what I think I'll try to do here is that I'm trying to yeah, distinguish where work. exactly yeah, this um, this area ends right, sorry, wasn't and what I want to do here is that I want to get these tank shashus again with their great little cannons to cover both the road junctions at oh, both of I these places and the Strela teams there. to stay inside the back lanes. I want to cover that junction in general give, uh, give enough distance here for my guys to actually be able to target yeah that should be good enough and small, pretty much that is that. Likewise, small, over here I want to cover this too. valley, so that we are... Um, yeah, that'll look, that looks like a great location to cover this area, so if anything comes up, we'll be able to intercept it. And really, I just want to continue setting up this net. Um, these helicopters that they come with are fairly expensive, so I'm just going to pile them up somewhere in my behind. Um, because they're like they're like they're, they're 20 point transports, and I don't want to keep them around um, for the most part. But I'll keep one or two, such as the recon teams around, because uh, obviously they are quite um, or I'll keep a few choppers around, mainly because they have rocket pods and they're fairly useful in that regards. I should have noticed that I was going to play the so, one I saw. Um, inside this area, an with all of these hills and stuff and such like that, it's no, going to be very difficult to advance uh, up and down, up way. and down, and up and down these hills. So there, what I think I'll do is that, I mean, again, this deck I really rather relies on helicopters. But I think I'll bring in a pack of these Lee Lijan troops. 
And these I'll are the Chinese special forces again. I mean, they have rocket, napalm rocket launchers, making them very, very useful here. Um, I'm finding the like a lot of these mountain maps. They're they're not like like the mountains in Sicily, where it's sort of uh, more barren, but they're often really rather covered in trees. And with that said, I mean. I, you know, I would imagine combat inside these areas uh, being really rather focused on small-scale engagements um, from fairly long ranges. I mean, mainly focusing on MGs and stuff and such like that. But um, evidently, it's more so just uh, ah, small team, small small teams over there. Um, but it's more so longer range uh, action, um, or rather closer range action. What am I saying here? Um, like this, where it's small teams, stuff like that. These VTV guys, I mean, these guys are pretty good infantry just in general, but those small teams are going to force us back. So I'll pull back over there, and I'll wait until the Li Jian troops get over here. And my recon team's going to come over here for a better look into Boris, and I think we'll get some actions going on over there. Mm -hmm. In the meantime... Uh, Glenn, you might want to cap off uh, Charlatan, seeing as how you have the squad there. Looks uh, like we bought too I many of these uh, little for the reminder. cars around. Where we bought too many of those little command vehicles. Yeah, that's sort of that. Vehicle, so, um, cool. I have a lot of excess points here, so I think I'll just buy okay. a whole bunch of uh, BM-21s just for sort of the hell no, of it. Oh, and perfect. Yeah. That will present a very, very nice target for me to shoot down in a little bit with those rocket uh, systems. Um, one of the new changes, I want to say, I'm not really sure if planes were always able to do this, but they they seem to be able to land in spots that are, were, well, were considered extremely difficult. So, yeah, that's... That is an interesting change. It's it's really a game changer because it allows you to land in, um, I wouldn't necessarily say absurd locations, but really, really difficult ones such as here. Um, I think I'll get some troops here, and I'll buy a... Uh, you know, I usually don't buy rocket helicopters and Dude, like buy gotta themselves. Get that but when you buy them by themselves, they usually typically have a little bit more ammunition. And now this food is going to fly into my air net over here. We have a few missile launchers, not too many though. And with 30% with 30 accuracy, I'm not exactly looking for a big hit. But we might get one or two. And back. They'll run into the tank shashus at that little crossroads though, so I'm not too particularly worried. Um, it looks like I'll do, I will need a few more uh, things for my air net though, Watch so I think I'll buy a few more um, little vehicles, Insane. assuming that I can place them. Uh, that's why it's a little too high. Yeah, inside these mountain passes, use I mean those those Strela teams are pretty essential, mainly because of the fact that um, without them, getting a a two locations uh, that require a is just really rather difficult. Oh, it also napped my recon helicopter as well, so that is um, slightly troubling. Now, I'm going to guess that their command squad is somewhere inside this area, so I'll send the legions to check over there. Um, I might be able to move some troops through all of this underbrush too, to just sort of get eyes on them over there too, so that is actually a really good plan. So I think I'll call in right, some recon here and move another squad over. And those guys will just sort of advance as such. Now over here, we should have eyes. Yeah, there we go. I see this little convoy. So our little helicopter here will send in a few barrages. This one, th this North Korean helicopter is a little expensive for what it's worth. I believe this one actually carries less rockets than the Heinz, um, but the Heinz carry, or the MI series, I, I, I believe these are Heinz. I'm not particularly sure, to be honest, but I think yeah, these planes carry more of them. Oh, I see. It's it's a different caliber is the main thing. What do we have here? Some Canadian rifles, some blowpipes, there's some good stuff of, like um, that. Oh, um, in that case, I mean, those blowpipes are equally bad vehicles at uh, doing AA stuff as our guys, so that's sort of that. Oh, and we were able to get two hits. Three hits, maybe? Ah, uh, that plane just barely got away. Hmm. And it looks like they replaced the tank Shashus' um, 
initial little bang, little tank cannon sound effect with a more, I wouldn't necessarily say more fitting, but a more quieter and less alarming one. It's kind of Dude, neat. Are pretty good, He's sending in some of these blowpipes. Hopefully my planes can get a lock before those blowpipes hit us. Those blowpipes are like our little Strela teams. They have abysmal sight. They, they're actually even worse. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to get them, we'll be able to get rid of them. And the main thing is that they're actually guided, so if anything stuns them, they'll... Like, those, those blowpipes are just troops I would never buy. And because they're guided, once we're able to just sort of panic them, they or stun them, it gets rid of the threat almost entirely. Yeah, they haven't been able to hit that squad of planes yet. It looks like yeah, these tank shashus uh, really ran out of ammunition, so I'm gonna have to get um, some more troops in there soon. Get these planes in action and once again. I think he's either given up on the whole use blowpipes thing, or maybe they, they've run out of ammunition. And yeah, so this, these plates should just fly over these zones. They should take a decent amount of damage and bam, I suppose oh, one is dead. Now I need to play around a little bit more with the uh, the Aeronet idea behind behind that setup, but um it kind of works. It was mentioned what? I wondered how things were going on your end. Yeah, it's just like mountain warfare over here. Yeah, it's it's it has its ups and downs. Mostly downs. I'm trying to creep my troops just around Boris to figure out oh I lost my sniper team. But I was trying to creep around there to figure out where their command was. How are you guys doing? We're annoyed at the moment. I'm sure you've heard me constantly mention the pathetic nature to which AI pathfinding is. Once oh again, yeah, the, the vehicles oh, in, in urban terrain? No, the infantry in urban terrain. I told these guys not to go where they're going, and they're going where they're going. Yes, solid. Just control them where they go. I don't know, I was always under the impression you guys were doing really, really well over there. <laughs> oh, we are. We put, we're hunting them down now. Yeah. This is the part of the, of the attack where we're just okay, hunting. Alright, fair enough. But the problem is, it's becoming very annoying. Ooh, they have a lot of stuff over here. Oh. Seems as though they're using some sort of a uh, gun APC. Yeah, the re little recoilless rifle APCs over there. That's kind of neat, I, w I would say. Hmm. Now, I'm under the impression that they have a sniper team somewhere, um, somewhere on this outpost because they were they were able to pick off my command team really, really, rather fast. And it looks like they were able to nick down these Lee Jam people without making significant noise. You know what? You go die, just die, oh, just do me that favor, so I don't have to watch you become retarded and act like there's a hundred trees in front of me. What what are you complaining about now? Sounds like you put team left the building. It's like, oh, is that a tree? It must be a tree. You're gonna get ate up on that false Jaeger. Watch out. It's like one false Jaeger though. It's dead now. It's not the false Jaeger. It's pissing me off. It's the way the AI is navigating this area. Oh. Okay, I take it back. The way the pathfinding AI navigates the area. Oh, hopefully in a little bit I'll be able to pick off whatever command squad they have in Boris, and if not, I'll just go into Anna. Oh, that's right, I bought rocket artillery that I haven't used. You just killed my cargo vehicles. So yeah, are those, are those planes just staying still in uh... Yeah, I could get them, but the... Goddamn, um... Arties every... or the AAs, they've got some of these, so... Hmm. I got too, uh... Aggressive. Alright, well, if his command vehicle or comms isn't inside this area, or no, it might be inside like pockets like here. Um, here's what I can do. Can someone hunt down that artillery, please? Is that an option? Yeah. Split up my legion troops so we can sort of find them like that. Okay, I got some smalls. Merch love. 
And I'll see whether or not I can find that squad That's there. Give it a couple minutes. And I'll just use one legion to yeah, uh, go forth yeah. and pick off yeah, whatever you can find. But the amount of artillery you can get. Hmm. I think some so that plane is just taunting me over there, sitting up on that little hill. Oh, it, um, it might actually be in range of one of these streets.